Hey everyone, Michael Ferrara here, and I am your positive energy trucker. Today I'm in the office, I got my little buddy here with me, Alex. He's going to help out with this little demonstration here. But today I want to talk about IFTA. You know, a lot of guys out there run their own IFTA, especially if you're your owner and operator. You're probably doing your own IFTA. And another thing I want to mention is if you're not doing your own operator, you're not doing your own IFTA, like if you lease onto a carrier and they're doing the IFTA for you, you're more than likely paying way too much. They're probably overcharging. So what I did here is you can see my spreadsheet here that I created. Um, it makes reporting your IFTA so easy. I mean, I could do my IFTA report in like five minutes. You just log in, you put in your numbers, and this is how you keep track of it. You know, so I got all my quarters, you know, done up here for me, and it's just going back and looking at them. So right now we're in quarter two of 2020. So I'm going to walk you through how I put together a spreadsheet so you can put together your own spreadsheet so you can keep track of your IFTA very easily and get it done quickly so you're not wasting time doing it. Um, another thing that I do, I don't know when you're out on the road or how you do it, but this is my system. This is from this week's trip. I haven't finished pulling it up here, but as you can see, I keep an envelope. And in that envelope, I just write down, you know, my miles so I can keep the miles per state where I've gone and where I've been as well as my fuel. So let me just tally this up here real quick so we can get this inputted and I'll show you how I actually input this into the spreadsheet so you can do it yourself and then uh, moving forward you'll be able to do your IFTA super quick and super easy here. Just give me a sec, I'm just doing the, the math here real quick on this. But once you get the hang of this and you do it, like I said, it's it's going to make your reporting and you're sitting in the office trying to do this um, so much quicker and easier. And then I got another spreadsheet that I will show you here in another video on how I keep track of my my pay per mile and uh, you know how much miles per gallon I'm getting. Uh, on each trip so on this uh, first one here I just did it and we did 566 miles so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take it and for June 1st 2020 start with my mileage so my mileage is 488.792 and then Illinois I did a hundred and sixty eight miles I did 333 in Iowa and 65 in Nebraska now you can see right here, it tallied up for me 566. Okay, so real easy. Um, 6 2, 2020. I did my start miles. And I was just in Nebraska for this. And we did 119 in Nebraska. So there we go, 119. And then 6 3, 2020, put in my start miles. And... Sorry, guys, I usually have this tallied up before, but um, when I got back yesterday, it was so hot. And I don't know what's going on with my truck, but the AC isn't really blowing that cold, so it's it was really hot. I mean, I was going to actually vacuum out my truck when I got back. I got it washed and everything, but it was just so hot. I ran out of water in the truck, so I was like, I'm just I'm just going home. So I'm going to go to the truck today and actually take care of that. So, so for June 3rd, I got 16 miles in Nebraska. We got 129 miles in Illinois, and we got 300 miles in in Iowa for 445 miles. And yesterday was nice and simple. We just stayed in Illinois, so we got 
start. 490, 191. Oops, sorry. 489, 922. And we did 490, So we did 269 miles yesterday in Illinois. 269. I got fuel, which I almost ran this truck <laughs> empty here. It got a little a little bit scary, but I put 209, 205 gallons, and I did that at the fuel station. Okay, so you got all that there. I tallied it all up. I put in my totals, and I scan in my envelopes so I can go back and look at them whenever I need to. So what is all this? Basically, so right here, we're tallying up all my miles in Illinois. You know, all my miles in Indiana, Iowa, Nebraska, or wherever you go, you just can add your states up here. And how I did that is simple formulas, and I can totally help you out that. But um, So you open up a, a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet, and up here, you're just going to use the equal sum, and then it's the cell that you're in. So I want to tally up everything that starts in C3 and then all the way down. I just did 1,008 because you just want to tally all this up. And you can do that for each one. So this one's D3 all the way down. And then E3 all the way down. And then over here, you're going to tally up all your gallons. You know, M3 all the way down. It's a simple formula. This is all you're using. And then the total miles driven, you're doing the same thing. You're doing O3 all the way down or wherever it is. Okay. And then over here, it's the same thing, but now it's going across. So you want to tally up all this so you get all your miles. And then what this is going to do for you is when you log in to do your IFTA, it's simply going to ask you how many miles did you have in each state. Okay, so you can put it in. Now, most of my fuel I've been buying in Illinois, which always wasn't the case. Um, I know if we go back to last year's quarter four, I was buying quite a bit of fuel in Iowa. Okay, so what I do is when I buy fuel out of state, because when you're tallying up, you know, your IFTA, you're going to have to put where you bought that fuel because you're going to have to pay taxes on the state that you purchased that fuel in. So what I do is I just simply put like right here at Iowa 91.786 gallons that I purchased in Iowa. So what I'm doing my my IFTA all I do is I come over here and I delete this out and you see how this changed right. So now when I look and I need to tally it for Illinois I have it all right here and Iowa's right here okay. So that's all I do to keep track of my fuel. Now, I don't know how each state does it, but Illinois for the IFTA, which I can show you on another video when um, this quarter's over, when I actually go in there and input all the information, how easy it is and how simple it is and how quickly you can get it done. I'll go ahead and do that for you. But if you have any questions on how to set up this spreadsheet, just let me know. I'll be happy to go through it for you. Um, you know, maybe I can put together a little uh, a template that I can send you. I'm not sure on that yet. But this is how you can easily keep track of your IFTA to make IFTA reporting very simple and very quick. But again, I appreciate you guys. Michael Farrar, your positive energy trucker. We got a little buddy here, Alex, with us today in the office. But uh, stay safe, y'all. Be safe. Always remember to smile. It feels good and looks good on you. And uh, just have an awesome day, and we'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.